Right, hello everybody, Ingo Sudsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, well, so thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, I've came straight from work, buzzer went straight out in my car, straight to Lidl, straight to Woods. So, I've still got my work clothes on. A few holes in my top. I'm a sheet metal worker, so that's why you know, I've got all the clothes on. Anyway, less of that. So, what we're going to be doing at Woodland today, I think you've guessed by the thumbnail picture and the title of my video. I'm out to do a bit of woodland cooking on this chilly Friday afternoon. So we're going to be cooking. Can you see it alright? Basically what they are is classic German pork sausages and they're being smoked in a beech wood smoke effect. It gives an authentic flavour. So we've got five of them. Straight that line really all they are, the German sausages are they? Ready to eat now. But I don't want to eat them now. I want to warm them up. I want to cook them. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to chop some tomatoes up and put them on the grill as well. And then we've got some brown sauce. I think I paid 45p for that, for brown sauce. One pound summer for tomatoes, two pound 49 for the five German sausages. So it's not bad. Nice cheap little cooking video. What we're going to be using, well, if you're a regular at my channel, you'll know, but I have the Bushbox XL stove. Let's get that down in there, get that there, all set up, ready to go. And then we've got the grill for the top of it, what well, has to fit in to the top like so. And that is ready to rumble. Stick a fire lighter into it, fill it up with some wood, and then we'll get cooking. Right, so we'll just try to break some wood up. I just want to quickly say to the fella who commented on one of my previous videos and tell me I need to get some speech therapy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking your time to comment. If you don't like how I speak, extremely simple, don't watch my videos. Yeah, I get muddled up with some words. I know that. I think a lot of my followers know that. And I think people with them stupid remarks are not worth my time. So if it continues and you do it again, I will block you from my channel. I don't need to sit and read your nasty comments when I'm bringing people across to what I do. I don't have to record. I can just come to the woods and do this by myself and not record to people. But you know, I've got a really, really good steady viewing number now, a few thousand a week on each video. I don't need these people who think it's very clever to waste their time and my reading time to put comments like that. So, Let's get on with cooking and let's ignore people like that. Right, so a very quick, easy way for me to light this bush box stove is I use some of these, put a flame on them. Job done. And we just stick it in and get two in actually. Then just start putting some small little pieces in. Yeah, I'm sorry about that last little bit of clip of the video where I complained about someone saying he's speech therapy. It does get annoying people and people asking for me to do the same type of videos. I don't want to do the same videos week in, week out because I'll just get bored of that. Like I get bored of reading the same silly comments, insults and stuff. If you don't like it, I don't know why people sit and watch it to be truthful. I've got some brilliant subscribers, always comment on my videos, nice pleasant comments. I look forward to people commenting. You know, someone might be sitting there gloating, but I'm saying someone's been nasty in comments. We all get these idiots who do it. All the channels. Right. 
leave that to kick in and die down a little bit and we'll sort these sausages out right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open the sausages and i've got some of these skews whatever you call them skewers or something father-in-law got them to pork and fruit turkey at christmas so what i'm going to do is without coming out at the wrong side. Stick them on like that. <laughs> Keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I've only got four of these stew skewer things, whatever they're called, and I've got five sausages. Well, like well, Mr. Fox is going to be trying a bit of German food. We'll leave one out for Mr. Fox. Let him try it. Last one. Let's right, see a look. Perfect. What I want to do is I just want to have a little try of one while it's cold and let you know what I think about it. It's not too bad, but I think it would be better when they're warmed up. I'll leave that for Mr. Fox. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to cook all these tomatoes. I'm just going to probably do, probably let's say two of them. That's okay like that, and then go over the direction. There we go. Right, this has died down enough to stick these German sausages on. Right, stick these sausages on and see how they do. I think maybe three is the limit. But that does not look bad, does it? Very nice. I don't think they're going to take too long to warm up either, really. Do you think I've just made it worse by sticking them tomatoes on? Well, I put these... Uh, what do you call these things? Tomatoes on. And they do look rather done. Oh, that one didn't. But yeah, smell TV. Oh, that one's burnt. It'll be alright. Smell TV, definitely fairground smell again. Yeah. Right, let's take these off and then we'll have a look at them, eh? Right. Yeah, they're a bit burnt. 
it's just like your granddad or your uncle will burn them on barbecues. <laughs> How can I relate this to a barbecue at home? <laughs> I'm wrong in the head, aren't I? Right, let's have a look what it looks like inside. I reckon this is probably the most burnt one. Get the steam coming out. Very nice. Right, so what we'll do is get a bit of brown sauce on go. Plenty of brown sauce there, people. Very nice. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna peel off where it's burnt a bit too much. You know what, it is what it is, isn't it? I think anything you stick on like this, you know, with a skim round on a fire, I think it's always going to burn. Because it's so close to the flame as well. Mm. This is really nice. Them uh, what are them things called? Tomatoes taste just like you put them on barbecue at home. Let me fucking. I dropped half of it. <laughs> I was just going to try to scrape a bit of the uh, burnt piece off. I'm not bothered, it's just a fun video, in it? Mm. If you like this quick video, if you like what I am, how I am, how we're doing this, the cooking, more about the bush box stove, hit that subscribe button, follow me on YouTube, and I'll uh, I'll see you over the weekend for another video. I'm not going to say what video, but I will be back over the weekend. So for now, thank you very much for watching.